Hey guys, New Edge Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, a quick tutorial on how to edit a video in uh, Microsoft Expre uh, Expression, which is what I use to record my videos. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Um, I'm about to upload a video, a how-to video I made, and uh, before I edit it, I want to show you guys how uh, quick and easy it can be. Um, so the first thing you do is uh, well, I, I already sent it to uh, upload here, but you can always go file and uh, import and import the video. I'll show you uh, how to add, uh, add a video at the beginning or at the end, um, but let's jump right into it. So uh, after you upload your original clip, your... Uh, your main clip, whether it's one or many, um, you can add it, add a clip at the beginning or at the end. Uh, say if you already made an intro video or if you have a little intro thing made, I always click that. It'll bring up your video list. You can double click on your intro video and it'll chunk it right there at the beginning. Um, you can, I'm sorry, if you want to insert it in the middle, you can always just find your spot right there and then insert the media. So say if you made a video but you wanted to put a little uh, explanation or something like that in the middle of the video, you just uh, put the little pin wherever you'd like it in the video in your video and then uh, you know insert your media there. If you want to uh, see where your video is uploaded to, I know not a lot of people in their little tutorials um, show you guys this but you go to output and then uh, if you want to change it you just click on this these three dots right here in the job output and you can change whatever folder you'd like it to output to um, I did change mine to the video folder and I did have some trouble it, it didn't always convert the files right so um, I wanted to switch back to the original file you can do that by clicking right here and then reset the options and it'll reset it um, this program outputs it to a document folder by default and uh, even though it outputs it to the document folder it still converts it to a video format um, but before you do that you always want to go up here to uh, encoding quality uh, do best quality hit apply and then go to uh, encoding for devices uh, WMV that's always good for YouTube it uploads it really quick um, and then do uh, 1080p if that's you know if what you're recording is high def um, obviously if you're doing some game recording or something like that you don't really uh, depending on the game if it's an old game uh, like Super Nintendo game or something like that you don't need 1080p but if you're doing uh, like Call of Duty or something like that, this is always a good, good one to do. It says Xbox, but it's not just for Xbox. Um, it's just the quality of the video. Uh, not sure really why it says Xbox for that. Um, however, like I said, you just click on it, click Apply. Uh, you'll notice that it, your video gets bigger. Um, after that, uh, you just head down here and hit Encode, and that basically means. Um, output it and put everything together into the video. Um, this is just a quick tutorial on it. If you guys like this video, if uh, you want more information, uh, I'm always up for making more videos on it. Uh, if you need a little more information on how to edit with this and things like that, but I just wanted to make this quick little tutorial since I was going to uh, edit and upload this video. Um, so that's all I needed to add. Uh, luckily I was able to just make this video in one in one little shot. So uh, I put my intro in the beginning, and that's it. I'll hit encode, and it'll give you an estimated wait time, and it will convert it to 1080p. So thanks, guys. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below. And, uh, you know, uh, please give me a thumbs up. It always helps out. If you'd like to subscribe to see when I have more videos coming out, uh, please do so. If you need a tutorial on how to record with this software, I did give one. Um, 
so uh, look at look for it in the description and I'll leave a link for it in the description and we'll see you guys next time